Hey everybody. All right, let's use the node voltage method to solve this problem. But I'm going to point out a trick that may or may not be easier, but just so that you know another technique and then you can try it out and then see if you like it. So let's find our essential nodes here, 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 and this whole bottom. I'll just label them. Okay, so I got four. And already I can see there's a relationship between this one and this one. Which one is more? Right, look. See the voltage source between them? This side is more. How much more? 50. So already I know that the difference between them is 50, where this side is more, right? Because that's where the plus sign is. Same thing right here. See, the, this is a voltage source. This side is more, right? So this side is more. How much more? This much. It's just that this happens to be dependent. It depends on the current right here. Whereas this one is independent. It's always 50. Okay, and then now let's go for the node voltage method. I'll pick a reference here, since it has the most branches connected to it. And as soon as I did that, this becomes zero, which means I already know this node voltage. This one is zero, this one is 50. It's like we're halfway done. We just got two more to go, and that's everything. Okay, so node voltage method. Let's go KCL at node B. So I'll just write positive going out like this. So KCL for node B. So let's go this way first. VB minus VA over five. Okay, now let's go this way. VB minus the reference over 50. Now let's go this way. That's not a resistor, so I can't write Ohm's law like I did for these two. And I actually don't know the current. So I will just make, I will just label it. I'll just make a label. How about this way? And I'll just call it I1. There you go. Okay, now let's go KCL for node C. So I'll go, if I say positive is going out, this is going into the node, so that's negative. This is going into the node, also negative. And positive out means this minus this over 100. Okay, so how many equations, how many unknowns? There's unknowns, VA, we know it already. VB, we don't know, VC, we don't know, I1, don't know, and then we have one, two, three equations, three unknowns. Nope, there's one more unknown right here. Okay, so we have three equations, four unknowns. We need one more equation. We can get it from right here. Right, because we, we need something with that current, we can just go Ohm's law for the 5 ohm resistor. Ohm's law for the 5 ohm resistor. So if the current is going to the left, I'll make voltage positive also going to the left. So that means VB minus VA. Okay. 
Now we got four equations, four unknowns. To solve, I would just take, let's see, this one, substitute it right there. And so now we have three equations for VB, VC, and I1. And then I would solve maybe this one for I1. And then so that and then plug it in there. Now we have we're down to two equations for V, B, and V C. And then you just solve. Okay, now about that whole supernode thing. Let's try it. So same circuit, this is the same circuit. So the trick is, if you can identify two essential nodes with a voltage source in between them, that's a super node. So here's one example right here. Two essential nodes, A and D, with a voltage source in between them, but maybe that's not necessary, because if I call this the reference, that's zero, and that's 50. But this is a super node right here. I'll just draw it on the side over here. Because it has two essential nodes, B and C, with a voltage source in between them. And then we just do KCL for the super node. This is four amps over here, right? Okay, so there are four branches connected to the super node. Let's do KCL. So right here, that's right here. VB minus VA over five. Now this one right here. So that's VB minus that reference over 50. Okay, now this one right here. That's VC minus the reference over 100. And then this one right here, which is, if I said positive going out, that would be negative. Okay, and then everything else, just like the other problem, what's the relationship between nodes B and C? This side is more than this side. What about this current right here? We can use Ohm's law. Okay, and now if we take a look at it, three equations for three unknowns. Three equations, three unknowns, as opposed to four equations, four unknowns. The only difference is this one right here, right here. We, we don't have this. That's, the, that's what we avoided by using the supernode. Is it worth it? Maybe it saved you doing one more equation. Okay, let's try one more example. So it looks a little bit different. Let's find our essential nodes. Here, 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 and here. Okay, and then already I see that there's a relationship between A and D. This side is more, A is more than D, by this much. Okay, how about right here? Look. Which side is more? This side is more. How much more? That much more. Okay, and then now let's go with, let's use the supernode technique. So right here. There are two essential nodes with a voltage source in between. So I can treat this as a super node. And then we just do KCL for the super node. So there's current here, 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 and here. So let's do all four of them one at a time. This one first. So if I say positive going out, VB minus VA over R1. Okay, now let's go this one. 
So VB minus, let me call this the reference right here. So that'll be VB minus zero over R2. Okay, now let's go with this branch right here. So that would be VC minus zero over RE. And last one right here. So if I say positive going out, this current's going in, so that will be negative. Okay. So let me, so if this is known and this is known, that means we already know this node voltage right here because this is my reference, so that's zero. So I know this already. So this is what's left as unknowns, three of them, three unknowns, but we only have two equations. We need one more equation. So what should we do? I need something involving this current right here. So unlike the previous problem, right, when we we're looking at this current here, we, we used Ohm's law, but we can't do that here. This is not a resistor. We can't do Ohm's law. But I do notice something right here. See how there's current IB going this way? There's current right here, beta times IB. So what's the current here? We can do KCL for node C. So let's say positive is going out. So this would be negative. This would be negative. And this would be positive. Can you write an expression for this current? Yes. Vc minus the reference over Re equals zero. And look, these combine. Whatever the case. Now we have one two, three equations for three unknowns. Okay, so that's utilizing that supernode trick. Give it a try, see if you like it. Even if you don't use it, you can still solve the problem like we did right here. So give it a try and then see if it's helpful to you. Okay, hope that's helpful. See you in the next video.